welcome back to the channel today i want to talk about sifu and some of the moves you should be permanently unlocking first now if you don't know about permanent unlocks basically this game is a roguelite so what that means is is any of these perks here that you permanently unlock will be available to you to use no matter what every time you restart if you die and restart these will be ready to go so they're very very important to permanently unlock abilities that you like now you do that by going into a level say the first level and getting 500 xp and you can see there it says unlock and permanent unlock underneath it basically you need six times 500 xp to be able to permanently unlock one thing so you unlock it first to use it the vertical strikes focus let's say 500 xp the next time you get 500 xp and you are still in the same active playthrough you'll be able to go to the permanent unlock and do one of them so that will go down to four times and then when you do it again three times two times one times and once you've got all of them then that move will be permanently unlocked and it will be highlighted in pink as you can say here see here like the double palm focus you can see it says permanently unlocked so that's how you do it so which ones are the best ones first and foremost without a shadow of a doubt environmental mastery is really really broken and overpowered this allows you to throw an item or kick it from the ground and or off like a banister or something so like some glasses sometimes are like on the side you can literally just throw it straight from off the side into someone's head now the reason why this is broken is that the tracking on these items are phenomenal like you can bait people around corners and just kick it and it will kind of go around the corner and hit them and just just in general it's just really really broken you're going to see some footage in the background from one of the earliest sub bosses you fight the big guy who says he's going to throw you back through the window that room is littered with kickable objects i didn't even have to do one single combo i just kept kicking the bags at him making him fall over and jumping on punching him twice in the head jumping off kicking another one it is utterly insane and broken is it going to be something that saves you and makes you super overpowered and absolutely wreck the game no of course not but it is very useful to one gain some space if you kick an item and trip someone over it gives you breathing room you can stop and think about what you're doing and two it helps you control the room a little better and on top of that as well it's just fun i have found myself many a times in a group fight comboing one person and see someone else coming towards me and just kick something on the floor that's close to me underneath that guy trip him over and carry on hitting the original guy that i was hitting it is really good for group fights not so much in the one-to-one -one fights because usually one-to-one -one are elites or end game bosses end game bosses end level bosses and they pretty much can dodge or block it very easily though you can catch them sometimes with these objects it is definitely more useful for grunts and group fights next up strong sweep focus you need some good focus moves to be able to once again create some space be able to help you control the room now the only focus move that you start with is the poke in the eye and that's fine it does some damage it's not great though the strong sweep allows you from a crazy range be able to sweep anyone around you and i'm pretty sure it works on literally anyone bosses everything and it's just an easy sweep knock to the floor and you can either you know stop someone from approaching while you're fighting one guy you can you know just take out a big guy really quickly give him a few punches pull him up do some do some combos you can do a lot of damage starting with this sweep focus and it's easy to perform it's got ridiculous range and i really do think that this is a very very necessary skill to have near the start of the game and it will also kind of force you to use focus because i kept forgetting to use it and it was just getting wasted but the strong sweet focus is so good that once you start thinking oh this actually really helps me then you kind of get into the idea of using focus more often so i think it's really really useful and you know you should be you should be doing it you should be should be using it and those two being the main ones i thought i'd throw a third one in which is kind of like um depending on how you play the game and how you fight in the game but i feel like the snap kick is really really good and powerful too it basically allows you to engage an enemy with a very quick little snappy kick which you know knocks them back and creates an opening for you to start hitting them i've used this in the middle of an enemy's combo so like say they do two quick little punches and then they go to like wind up for a big attack you can snap out this snap kick 
pun intended, and stop them in their tracks and then carry on with your own combo too. It's not the greatest move in the world. It's not going to be something that, you know, breaks the game, but it definitely is helpful, especially if, like, you've got a group of enemies all walking towards you, um, like five of them all in front of you in a row. You know, you can very much get in, snap kick one of them, start hitting another one, back out, avoid it, then go back in with a snap kick. It's a good engagement leading move that can get to a lot of combos so definitely definitely useful have a look at it and think about it but ultimately it's about what abilities work for you and what you find easiest to use however i will say if you're going to get one off the bat gotta be the environmental mastery i think it's just it's too good um, but yeah thank you for watching i hope this helped like comment blah 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 blah, blah all that stuff thank you for watching that videos and how you guys have been awesome